Alrighty, so I'm gonna be doing episode 7 right now. This is it. This is episode 7. And we're gonna keep it slow. We're gonna be mellow on this playthrough. Let's just be chill for one episode at least. <laughs> Gotta have at least one mellow episode. Deborah, my friend. Did the university Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> you're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Are they real? <laughs> everywhere. This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um. I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. All right. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. See, I had a conversation like that with a crackhead and all I got was stabbed. Wish there were more people out there like this. Or like that, at least. People who love the world that they were gifted. I mean, the, our, our world is truly a gift. You know, it's kind of silly to make a comparison to Red Dead and our actual world, but you know, how can a video game capture that? But this is the closest we've ever come to that, you know? That's what, that's what, that's what I'm thinking is like, we, mm, I don't know. I think just as a whole, this game is just beautiful and unique and I just wish real life were more like it, I guess, because I, at one point it was. And there's bad and good in this fake world, and it's so amazing to me because it's been captured so perfectly. Look at these animals running around, just doing that thing, doing their thing. Oh my god, and then the bad! See? There's bad. See? And they're different. They're different. There are different perceptions on how you can look at it. You know, that that could be seen as good timing because it, it furthers my point. Or that could be seen as bad timing because I was trying to make a point. It really is just a matter of the way you look at things. In the way you look at things is so important because it can change the entire outlook on life. It can do so much for you. It can change your attitude. It can change who you are as a person. Hey, look at this, friend. this guy here. Stop all by for a William, my friend. The name's William. I've never done your missions before, but I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to. Are you kidding me, dude? Hang on, William. I'll be right back. You just hold tight there, friend. Let me go onto the edge of this ledge here. See, they weren't even near me.
Maybe I need to pick up a Lancaster for online too, because that was unreal. I could make that shot with an Evans repeater, I just don't know if it would have killed. Ah, oh, damn it. It's frustrating, dude. It's frustrating. <coughs> because I wanted to go talk with William. He's my favorite side character in the whole game. Although I haven't done any of his stuff. He's only I've only ever seen him in one cutscene, but Fuck. See, it's just aggravating because there's like stuff I want to do, but the game's like, hey, bounty hunters, go get him! It's frustrating as all fuck because it's like, well, I get stuck on it. Do we want to hunt? Do I want to start hunting? Horse, what are you doing? Hurry up. I know you're big and I know you're strong, but you gotta get fast. See, I'm not able to do this now. I wanted to see William, and now I can't. God forbid when, you know, player tries to see their game that they bought, they're not able to. Because, uh, Rockstar is a zero-fun company. They know when you're trying to do something. I uh, can't convince me that they don't. Can't greet or antagonize him, can't do anything. Can't even say hi to poor William. And all he wants is some flowers. He's an herbalist. That's so cool. Have you met any herbalists before? I wanna, I wanna do that. That's what I wanna do. I wanna go out and just go look around, see what I can find. That's a doe. Screw it, we'll meet William at a later time. But, as of right now, why is there a dead guy in the street? That wasn't the guy I shot. Why is there a dead person? Is this the guy I shot? Yeah, those are the guys. Never mind. Okay, we are going to go up. We're going to go find the warped brindle uh, Arabian. Oh, God, are we going to beat this train? We're going to have to haul ass. We might. Oh, wait, we didn't even have to cross over it. Never mind. I was like, we're not even going to have to cross it. Yeah, God forbid somebody rides through your roads. You get your panties in a bunch. I ain't here to cause trouble. Not yet, anyway. Hey, calm down. Calm down. And even at nighttime, the game's pretty. When there's not a lot of light, you can actually, you can't really see what's going on, but you can still see the moonlight shine through the trees, shine through everything else. And, you know, it's just so, I'm so fond of it. I don't know. There are just, there's different perception. There's just, there's, then there, of course, there are things that are going to make you mad or things that are going to upset you. But you got to pick and choose because it's okay to get. You fucking serious? Again? Been gone all of five minutes. Why are they so hellbent on getting $30 out of me? Why are there rattlesnakes everywhere? But look, man, there's stuff out here that I've never even seen. Stuff I've never even paid attention to. There are parts of this world I have not explored. And I've had this game for, oh, less than a year. But look at that, man. That's beautiful. A whole forest that just never gets explored. Or it never has been, by me at least. I Google things sometimes on this game, but like things I can figure out. And... Cause I want to go find a new horse. I need a new horse. I like this horse, but he... look at him. He's not very fast. I'm boy. I'm boy. Look at there, Bacchus Bridge, man. You're all right, boy. You know, I feel like it's easy to actually get lost in this world and this narrative. And... It's not so important to follow the story. It's just, I mean, you, you definitely can, but it's like, I guarantee there's people out there who get just far enough into the story to where they can get out and just screw around, go 
Look at how beautiful this game is. I hold this game so dear to myself because it's just... Look at this! Isn't that crazy? I can, but I'm doing my own thing so you can do yours. Okay, we need to head up here, past the Indian Reservation. Yeah, but, you know, picking and choosing things that make you angry and things that upset you, I just, I think it's a little ridiculous that, you know, people let themselves get so upset about stupid shit. Like, for example, not that I'm saying it's okay to say the N-word, but I am not going to get offended if you say it. As a person, I'm not going to get offended because, for a few reasons, A, I am not the one that that word was used to degrade and it, it, it's not a derogatory term to me because I'm not black I'm just not and that's that it, it's fine but I'm not gonna tell you what's right and what's wrong there, folks. I'm not gonna say it's okay to say see look even they're not happy I'm here because I'm white But I'm, what happens is, I mean, I don't know, man. I hate Europeans. They ruin everything. Okay. I think it's up here. Somewhere around this area. That's where I can find this horse. This is pretty horse. And it's got, like, uh, markings on it. You can't tell me this isn't, like, the best horse in the game. I've never actually tried to break this horse before. So this is this will be new for me. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, this is definitely the right spot. No way it's not. Come on. Okay, we'll take it slow because Arabians are very skittish horses. They're perfect companions. They're brave, they're smart, and they are loyal. But they're fast. And there's a variety of them. Just waiting to be found. There's more than one. Yeah, the white one's cool. But this one's cooler, in my opinion. Oh shit, there it is. Oh, whoa, whoa. Easy now. Let me nice and easy. See? Look at it. Look at that, man. It's crazy. Look how pretty. It's okay. Get on! I'm not getting off. I'm taking you with me. You will come with me on my travels. You will. Oh, I got it. See, look at how pretty this horse is. You did it. You did it. You're all right. Fat boy, you've served me well up until this point. But now, I'm I will call you Branch. That's your new name. Or Doctor Bush. I don't know yet. Tell me that's not such a cool looking oars, though. Like that's so sweet. 
poor people just want to be left alone. I feel bad. They're not even real, and I feel bad. Wow. You just got a little magnet on the side of your head? You got an implant horse? Why is there, like... Oh, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Come on. Okay, now I can. Let's see if they move when I do this. Nope. Alright, fat boy. You have, again, you've served me well. And look at this horse, man. Look how fast. Like, that's crazy. Fat boy, you'll come home with us, though. We're gonna story at camp. Oh, shit. All right. I know, I know, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Easy girl. Whoa. Were there other people shooting at it? Yes. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I thought we had a little mutual, mutual. What's the world coming to? Hey, let me see that ugly mug. Big talk from a small head. All right, I'll leave you alone. Well, look at this, man. There's wildlife that hunts for other food. I mean, I've seen it happen in game. I've seen eagles fly down and pick up uh, rabbits, and just—it's crazy. Lizards have hearts. But there's other people too and they react differently. Like this game is such truly such a masterpiece. And the fact that you can there I mean, look, this is one small look, you see how big this looks while I'm actually near it? Yeah, let it let, let Arthur finish what he's doing. Alright, you see how big this looks now that I'm actually near it? Right? This this area here. And then it's all just one little spot in this entire world. And you can go down here. There's another place down here, New Austin. Go down here. Saint Denis, Black Bell. She's up there. She well, she's down here. And then you can go up to Annisburg. Strawberry. There's just so much. This, it's honestly truly like a, its own country. It really is. Oh, you're not the right horse. All right, Branch, let's get going. And there's so much to do. Like, there's this... Look at this! Legendary animal! We can hunt! Let's hunt. Let's find it. Let's see what we're looking for. I don't know what animal's up here, but... Hey, let's find it. <gasps> Poop! Oh, it's a wolf. All right, there's something. Go up here. Go check. What you got here? Fur? Fur. Don't seem close. Look at that. The geysers actually go off. Like, that's crazy. Wait, where's the trail go? There's something. Alright, what's up here? What do we find in here? Oh! Game? See? Like I said, animals hunt. Like, that's crazy. Oh, I see it. Maybe it doesn't see me just yet. Don't you run off on me. All right, we're going to have to get up close and personal with it. I hate to kill it like this, but we're going to have to. Oh, 
big guy down. Look at that, man. Skin in a legendary animal. Next to a geyser that's going off. Wolf heart trinket. Take this to a fence. Alright. And just, just look at this game, man. There's so much here to offer. Look, we got him! And also, take a look at this. Like, we go down here. I think it's this way. We can go right there. Oh, I didn't mark it, but I know where I'm going anyway, so just bear with me for a minute. But there's just so much, man. Like, I can't even further this point anymore. It's just beautiful. How a game that was developed in probably a little bit under a decade, I think think something like that decade-ish around that time yeah it's this one it's over here that you managed to cram years and years and years worth of gameplay into something that was done in just a decade or not even probably not even a decade probably less it's just beautiful to me you have a group of people who all with a common goal in mind can come out and just make something this beautiful. And look at this. This took people so long to figure out. You can just come down here and do some stuff. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Whew. Made that. Alright, cool. Okay, we want to get down to there, so I'm gonna Go around here, and I like to do this in first person, so you can kind of control yourself better. Can't remember. Yes, we can reach it from down there, but I want to see if we can do it from here. Nope. All right, we got a second chance. Here's our second chance. Made it. Nice. And then right in here. No, Arthur! That looked like it hurt, but we made it. Look at that. Valerian root. Aged pirate rum. Could you imagine how drunk that would get you? Gold bar. That's 500 bucks right there. Oh, what's that? Another gold bar? Guess how much that makes. 500? 500? Can it, can, can I pick it up please? I want, I want the 1,000. There we are. We got the Thowie. We got one Thowie right there. And then look, we can even go, take it a step further. We go, ow. God, I have a habit of falling down. Take it a step further. Go look over here. Look around, see what else this place has to offer. Look at that chest. How do you even figure something out like that? The idea to have a train just like crashed like this, that's crazy. This is just such a spectacular idea. And it's, I still feel it's underappreciated. I heard somebody say, oh, Red Dead's overrated. Have you fucking played Red Dead? Because it is not an overrated game. I mean, you look at this shit. There are five whole states you can be in. States! That's insane! A game with states. Its own country. So large that it has to be divided into states. That is insane. The fact that there's different fish in different types of water. Like, that's crazy. Just look at how pretty. I'm sorry, I love this game too much to not just run around in it for a while. And that's part of the reason I wanted to make this. And you know, hell, I might even send this recording to my mom so that she can truly... Honestly, she's heard me talk about it so many times that it's like... Oh, well, I just didn't waste that, but now I'm drunk, so that's something, I guess. 
the hell ever. Hey, Grand. Don't speak to me. Don't talk to me like that. You know what? We're stealing your horse so I can get back to my horse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. That was mean. But yeah, there's different ways you can take the game. You can be a good guy or you can be a bad guy. I honestly like to do a little bit of both, but in the end, good guy. 100%. I did a low honor playthrough. I cried even harder. It's just sad. It's just such a sad playthrough. I probably should keep my mouth shut. But it's just so beautiful, man. The whole idea that a man's trying to get his own redemption, living a life bad, trying to turn good. It's just beautiful to me. Because you don't realize how fragile something really is until you break it. And I mean that in the sense of, like, you don't realize how limited life is until you start to encroach on it. Okay, you're not even my horse. I'll, I'll ride you until you buck me. I don't care. Just gotta get a little bit closer, then I'll let you be. I'll let you go find Papa, wherever he is. Let's hope you had a high bonding with him. Alright, get out of here. Go on. Whoa, now. Easy. Both of you. Both of you come with. You got Fat Boy and Branch. Look at us. Yep. There's just something so amazing to me. You could just come up with a story like this and add a world to play in with it. This world isn't necessarily a sandbox, but shit, you can make your own sandcastle out of it. Whether that sandcastle is. Well, I mean. Whether your care it's whether it's your character's development, whether it's the way you treat other people, what you hunt, what you fish, what you shoot, it really you can utilize every part of this game, and that is what makes it so beautiful. The fact that you can do so much in such uh, it's such a limitless world, but it's crazy to me because it's packed into it's like for the low low price of sixty dollars. <laughs> I'm kidding, I got this game on sale when it was like less than 20. Probably around 20 bucks I got this game. Yeah. I'll never forget the first time I played it. I played a low honor playthrough. Okay. And I spoiled the game for myself. I, I'm still mad about that. I spoiled the game for myself. Because I was like, I just got curious and I found a video that was like all blank in their blank. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But I'm not going to say anything else. But it had to do with all the characters and where they go and what happens. And I ruined the entire game for me. And it was sad. So if you are, if this is really your first time watching this series and or seeing somebody play this game, don't Google stuff. Please do not do it. Spoilers are so easy to find. And with a game like this, it's criminal. I think you should be thrown in jail. Especially with my ADHD-ridden, curious ass, curious George ass. I don't know, man, but look! There's animals. They're, they're made of code, but they're still animals. Just look, man. There's so much to appreciate. Hey, Whoa! What in God's name, dude? Oh, poor horse. And that, too. The fact that you can do a cinematic camera when you shoot somebody in the chest. That's beautiful, man. As, as horrible and gory as it is, it's still very beautiful to me. 
here's another thing I like. I picked some time in a couple episodes ago. I, I went out and I picked some flowers. And now look at this. I can take those flowers. I can set up I can set up a camp and I can You know, touch another man's woman. Girl, sorry. Probably should. Probably not a great term to use. But you don't do that, man. Didn't have to go throwing him through a window like that, but at the same time, don't mess with my girl, man. Don't mess with my lady. My little lady. You hold someone so dear to you that even. I don't know, this is a, just feels like a joke, but it's like. There. Okay, I don't know what that guy's problem was. Oh my god, there's too many people here. Good to see you. What can I do for you? Now see if I were to shoot this man in the face when he got back from his healing, he'd be all bandaged up and he would look different, right? That's cr that's crazy. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. But if I pay for something, he's not going to kick me out because I paid for stuff. So he's like, okay, I can get more money out of this guy. I've had my fair share of big nights at Smithfields, but a lot of fellers doing a can-can, that's a first. See, the attention to detail from the last episode. Hey there. It's like, you can talk to people. That's the spirit. All the best. Howdy. The fact that you can talk to people. And sometimes they're rude. What was that, you son of a bitch? And you can be rude back. You got some nerve talking like that. <laughs> Just That's it. I'm through with you. <laughs> Y'all try and act peaceable. You can get really good at kicking virtual ass. <laughs> See? I've gotten good at it. Probably a little too good at it. <laughs> See, he just got walloped. Does it serve him right? Probably. That's why you be nice to strangers. See, you don't go around being nice at first. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Right, you can be nice. Hey there. Hey. Ah, I can't seem to catch a break today. Well, life ain't nothing but misery sometimes. Just keep running into prize idiots like well, you. you be mean. It's all good. Calm down. See if I manners not your thing. See? If you do that, they freak out. They don't freak out, but they they get agitated. The fact that you can go look at these guys, they're working. That's crazy. Fake hey, people Mr. with fake jobs. That's insane. And I'll probably touch more on this once I'm in the epilogue, but like morning. Morning to you. See? We'll, we'll let him pass really quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Walk past. Alright. Guess he doesn't want to walk past. But we'll jump back. See that? A guy is planing. He's using a planer. That's crazy. Good morning. Gentlemen. He doesn't have a tool belt, but... I guess designated Look tool out. belt. Look at him! He's smoking! That's crazy! And what's cool is that you didn't see it, but like this plank is one that is cut, like down there. Somebody brings it from somewhere, it's brought to there, it gets cut. Somebody carries it again, they bring it up those stairs, they bring it here, this guy planes it, and then they probably move it again, and they put it somewhere on this little house. And look at this, man. You can pretend. Oh, look, there's people up here shingling the roof. And look, man, you can even kick them off the roof, because why not? Oh, he died. Stop, oh, God. I feel bad. But I'm going to load a save because I want to keep my good boy points up. My good boy points. I don't know. But they're just the fact that you can go around and just look in this world and just... I don't know, man. It's just something that's so crazy to me. Wow. 
I don't know how to put it. I seriously, dude, I just don't know how to word it. When you take something and you make it so great, even the even the first Red Dead, not Red Dead Revolver, that was still ahead of its time. That second came out like 2008, I think. When did Red Dead Revolver come out? 2004! That, that game's older than I am. And that game was still groundbreaking and still so huge for its time. But the fact that you take a game like Red Dead Revolver that has four pixels per person, pretty much, and you put it into someone like that, someone that you see on my screen, or someone like this where you can see each and every individual follicle a hair on this man. This random woman has a whole story behind her. You know, good place, get some food. She's dirty and she's I'm old. But it's what are you? Jo I don't know what he's hey doing. There. Good morning, mister. Look at that guy. He's got an artificial mustache. But like, crazy, crazy shit, man. Really? You really say that? How about I really stick this gun down your neck and blow a bullet out your butthole? Hey there, partner. Morning, friend. And look, this dog knows I've pet him before, so he comes up to me and he wants more pets. That's how, that's how smart the people who made this game were. There's just so many different ways you can look at it. There's different interactions throughout the game. There's different breeds of dog. That's insane. Different breeds of hey, animal friend. in fake game. Morning. Or fake you world like in real game. Look, I don't want enough. I ain't looking for trouble, I assure you. Mm. Hello, gentlemen. Morning. Morning, dude. There's just people around it's just crazy to me look if I if I yell I can I can talk to somebody far away you see how he raises his voice see he's raising his voice too see if they're nearer he speaks softer somebody had to like I said interactions Yeah. You know what? I'll fuck You're you up. On. Let's go. I'll be doing the world a favor. Come on, let's go outside. Oh Thanks god, this don't feel right. He's too drunk for this. You made a big mistake disrespecting me. I know how this goes though. So go ahead. Really feel that booze coursing through your veins. When it take over your mind. Whoa. Do you feel heavy? Yeah? Go ahead and take a seat. Good boy. Saves me the trouble, I guess. Hello, mister. What's your voice cause of enough sorrow around here? No. -uh. Hello, sirs. See, I've not been the best person in. Who exactly do you think you're talking to? You do not want to mess with me, my friend. I'm leaving, all right? Okay. Do it then. Serves you right. Shit. Yeah. You regret being mean now? See, his drunk ass couldn't even get on the horse. You. You're annoying me. What was that? So get the hell away from me. Was that worth it? Before I do you an injury. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, you just got sucker punched. That probably wasn't super fair, but he kind of deserved it. He, he goes back to what he was doing, lighting himself, having himself a smag, lighting up a dirty. The fact, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. The fact that you can go upstairs, you can rent a hotel. <laughs> it's just baffling, man. Oh, that guy's probably jerking off, but. <laughs> Oh no, he's pooping. Never mind. I was like, I was like he sounds like he's y cr yanking his crank in there. See, we'll sleep until nighttime. God, he's really having a hard time. He's gonna kill himself. Poop exhaustion.
ain't moving. Horse. Hello. Look at this, man. People have their own schedules. Right, I guarantee. Look, if we if we were to really take the time to we pick one random NPC, right? We follow Oh, it's this guy again. Challenged you to a duel just there. That man's challenging every gun belt so much as looks at him sideways. Most people don't give him the satisfaction, but I guess you knew your odds. Serves him right. I want to go to a speakeasy. I don't know if there's too many around anymore. All this shit about the old days. I'll cut that tongue out of your mouth, you goddamn bastard. Why you get out of my face before I break your scrawny neck? What the hell are you staring at? What, he's deaf as well and dumb? Oh, I get it. I get it. So come on, partner. I'll beat your stupid ass. All you do is sit in here, you talk about how everything used to be great because you got to be racist. You're a racist punk ass bitch, and I'm gonna serve your stupid ass a plate of whoop ass. See that? How's that feel? Punk? What you got? See, and because I swung first, I'm the one that gets in trouble for it. You son of a bitch. Yeah, come back here. Let me whoop your ass over here so we leave the poor bartender alone. Oh? Go over there and, uh, walk? Hang on, I ain't done yet. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me finish whooping this guy's ass. Alright, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Go ahead. Go ahead, finish me off. I did what I wanted to. And see, Arthur really dies. He doesn't get back up. That's how crazy the detail is. Oh, I lost my pelt, but it's all right. And see, it is currently like two in the morning. Nobody's out. Nobody's out and about. Look, it's not super super late, but there's not as many people in the bar. Hello. Sir. See, look, look at this guy. Hey, He's ready to go home. He's leaving. I'll follow him. I'm, I'm not gonna follow. Look, there must be some misunderstanding. Where'd he go? There he goes, right? We'll trail him. We'll kind of see where he's going. Uh, I'll kind of be inconspicuous uh, about it. See yourself. <laughs> How's things? Full belly and an empty dick. I'm doing all right. Glad to hear. Take care. Full belly and an empty dick. That's um. Guess that's one way to look at it. I'm gonna use that one. I'm not gonna trail him too hard, but I just kind of want to figure out where he's going because I'm, I am pretty curious. The fact that NPCs have their own schedule, like that's insane. He'll probably notice me if I follow him long enough, so I'm trying to keep a little bit distance. But like, I'll cut across me looking at me somewhere because he is looking back at me. That's crazy. Now if I act weird, if I start crouching down and like hiding in bushes and shit, he'll definitely be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" No, okay, never mind. Just prove me wrong, that's alright. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hello? You know when you have one of those days? <laughs> anyway. <coughs> onwards and upwards. So long. <coughs> Is 
that you can hear animals. I can hear raccoons running around, being raccoons, doing their thing. Look at him, he's gonna walk back to that house and go to, go to sleep. That's crazy. That's definitely where he's going, I guarantee it. Hi there, mister. Hello. Nice around here. I'm kinda new to these parts. Well. If I were to knock somebody out in the cold morning, like you can see it, if they're knocked out, you can still see the, like, air coming off them, off their mouths. See, it's 33 degrees, you can see when he breathes, smoke comes out. Same with Arthur. If I were to knock him out, that would stay the same, but if I kill him, it'll stop. Like, that's insane. See, I told you, he's going over here, he's gonna go to bed. Let's see what he's up to. But, I don't know, man. There's just such a beauty to it that I just feel is so underappreciated. You are now cold. While cold, health core will drain faster. Change clothes to warm up. See? Watch this. I'll call my horse over. I'll put something warm on. And, actually, I don't even know if I have Winter Gunslinger. But, look. He's done walking to his house. Watch him, he's gonna go sit down until until like six AM when he's gonna get up and then go to work. Because he has a job. That's crazy. Okay, I don't have it, but get going. Yeah. You're all right, girl. See the horses get dirty over time. You can see it. She's got gunk on her, but watch. Brush her right, off. Girl. That gunk comes off. She gets clean. She looks nice. All pretty and pristine. There, I girl. give her something to munch on. She's a horse and they like to eat. They can jump over things with me on their back. Their mane moves around. Look, I'll ride around a little bit, but I'll, I'll actually, well, I, I guess we'll, we'll check what time it is. So it's 5 a.m. And now, look, this guy's going to get up probably about a minute or two. Mister? Howdy. It's not a bad town you got here. Yeah. But if I shoot him in the teeth, you won't see him going to work that day. Anyway. He needs to have an All off day best. after getting shot. Actually, I guarantee if I shot him and he and I followed him around long enough, he, ah, probably not. Actually, I was gonna say if I shot him and then followed him, right, followed him around long enough, he probably would chill out. Are you done? Are you gonna move around at all? You gonna do anything? Morning. See, look at him. Look at him go. He's oh, done. He's had his smoke, there? and now he's gonna go back to work. No okay, thanks. Anyway. Watch, I am gonna follow him. I know it's probably not the most interesting thing to watch. Feel free to skip, but this is probably what the rest of the episode's gonna be. All right, let's go back to town. Let's go check around, see what people are doing. See what's going on. Where the heck am I? See, look at this drunken hey buffoon. There, Some people sink into the booze a little bit too hard, but. Being that drunk is not fun, man. Go get a drink of water. 
Dude, you're gonna be- he's drunk as a skunk now. I can only imagine how bad that hangover's gonna be by the time it hits midnight. Hey, feller. No more raising hell from you this time. You hear me? Hey, mister. How do you do? Everything okay? You have a light uh -huh. voice for your stupid face. I'm not your What in God's name? It's like he heard me. God damn you! What did I do, man? I think you're gonna realize how how much you overreacted real soon, dude. Poor friends get whoop. Let's get this done. For once, I didn't pick the fight. You're out. There you go. See, they both swung first. That's the weird part. I didn't do anything to antagonize. I looked at him funny, and he's like. And then hey hit there, me. Barney. And see, train, trains arrive on a set schedule. Like, actually, I've looked into it. They actually do have a schedule. They leave by 7. Hear that? It's leaving now. Got here around 6, and it's going to leave at 7. You better watch your behavior around here. You better watch your mouth. Is that meant to be a threat? You shut your damn mouth. You shut yours. Look at him. Whoa, how'd you keep is? up with I was just gonna try to knock him out with the gun, but it's not. He just got punked. Look at him. He's gotta sleep it out. He's gonna sleep it off right there. What in God's name just happened there? Did that horse die? No, but it, it got detached, so that guy's wagon shot. See, right as I was talking about how well done this game was, this kind of crap happened. Look at him, he's walking weird because he got hurt. Speaking of the guy I was mixing it up with, where'd he go? Wait, that guy that was limping was the guy I beat up outside of the saloon, wasn't it? Walk around all funny. These gallows actually get used. You can see people get hung right here. How you doing? Hey there. Hello there. Your face looks familiar. Uh. Reminds me of the last time I lifted my horse's tail. Same to you, partner. Mm-hmm, real clever with your own insult there. No, just wanted to look at my pretty old gun. The fact that you can get different guns, look down their sights. Howdy. Like that's easy you double tap the holster button with a little trick with it hey partner asshole and you can do that too so that's cool anyway i think i'm going to leave this one here i'm going to load that save anyway but tell me he didn't deserve that <laughs> It's been fun, and if you're still watching, I appreciate that. But, like, I don't know why I've been real boring this episode, but that's okay. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.